Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode two of The Weekly Rev, where I like to take the car news that I heard the last week and sum it all up. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Ford is back in the news again. They have a new hot hatch. Well, not really, it's just the Ford Edge, but it looks like they're gonna give it the ST badge in the 2019 model year. The ST has been their performance trim for their hot hatches such as the Focus and the Fiesta. The Edge, however, gets the EcoBoost 2.7 twin turbo V6 that powers the F-150 with 335 horsepower and 360 foot-pounds of torque. It also gets it's all-wheel drive. Now next up isn't really big or surprising news, but it is interesting nonetheless. Camaro will soon utilize the 7-speed manual from the Corvette. I always figured this would happen sooner or later since they do use the same LT1 engine. Porsche has confirmed plans to make a concept lineup of electric vehicles to rival Tesla. As of now, it goes by the name of Mission E. The power ratings they'll be trying to achieve at launch is said to be from a range of 402 to 670 horsepower. Now I'm not big on talking about rumors, but the only reason I bring this up is because these are all things that Porsche's CEO Oliver Bloom has said himself. Speaking of Tesla, Mr. Elon Musk wants to entice more buyers on going electric by adding their their first affordable EV. The Model 3 starts at $35,000 and for that you can get a range of 215 miles. Now for an optional 9 grand you can opt in on a long range battery and get an EP range of 310 miles instead. There are of course other premium packages in a semi-autonomous driving mode. And the Gotti wagon is finally getting a bit of a change. It's getting even bigger in every way. It's getting 2 inches longer stretching the wheelbase and extra inch and almost five inches wider. Even though it's getting bigger, it still found a way to shed 375 pounds. And staying with Mercedes, they presented AMG versions of the CLS 53 and the E53 at the Detroit Auto Show. The craziest thing about this is they both showed up with inline six engines. This looks to be the first step Mercedes is taking to doing away with V6 engines altogether and switching to an inline format instead. Now that's all I have for you guys this week, but thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you want to keep up with the weekly rev, feel free to subscribe. Thanks. See you next week.